tier 6 is our showcase interactive clickable reality. It's a internet-based soap opera, for lack of a better term. It's actually uh, darker than a soap opera. If you click on a person's head, for example, you'll, you'll probably get their thoughts displaying in the lower window. Once you have a, a person or an object selected, you have some navigation controls, so you end up being able to surf a web of a reality. There's some, quote, soap operas on the net, and prior to clickable reality model, the, they were almost all based on diaries, where you would select a character and read their diary entries. They're a little light on, uh, on content. Yeah. Our story is deep, very deep. It's mystic. It will hold people for, for decades. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of creative people here. Um, I guess because of the cold, you know, we've got a lot of time to uh, to devote to, uh, you know, coming up with new and interesting ideas. So, uh, but yeah, it's, there's no lack of talent or creativity here, that's for sure. I think CR6 uh, appeals to people because um, it's more of an interactive kind of a thing. Uh, they can get as much or as little as they want out of the soap opera. Um, they can make it basically their own. Um, and I also think uh, it's probably because uh, you know our writing is going to be a little bit more uh, uh, intriguing, uh, make people want to come into uh, the story more than some of the stuff that's out there right now, which is a little more uh, bubblegum kind of pop culture kind of a thing. I guess we're going for a sort of stylistic look, maybe a slightly uh, darker look, uh, uh, you know, really rich kind of uh, a lot of uh, artistic flavor into it. Uh, try to package shot with. Uh, you know, more of an artistic uh, sort of theme. Well, there was a very large pool of people that came onto our casting call to uh, draw from. Um, the people that we went for, obviously, were sort of a look, sort of an age group. Um, I I'd say there's some diversity in there. Uh, you know, there's different types of people, uh, different types of looks. I guess they're around the same age, but then we, uh, you know, we. Uh, tried to uh, change things around a little bit by putting in sort of a, uh, an older figure, a patriarch, who's played by uh, Rick Robert Ryder. I can't really comment too much about future storylines or, or anything really until we go on air. All I can say is that we're going to try to keep it as interesting as possible and try to keep people coming back. It's new, it's different, it's definitely a challenge. I find it quite exciting actually. Um, it's similar in some ways to film. The production side is very similar, uh, actually getting the product produced. Right now we're basically just, instead of using 35mm movie film, we're using 35mm, you know, photography film. We think we're going we're gonna to be defining the standard from now on. All interactive programming we hope to become quick flow realities. We're specifically giving away the software, the CAD software, that's called CRCAD, written in Java, so that anyone, all the basement Quentin Tarantinos in the world, can produce clickable realities, put them out on the net, and for a small royalty, um, use our name and our software. Every page served, uh, we were projecting earnings about, of about six cents based on banner advertisement and product placement. And plus, you know, merchandising the same way you, you merchandise any television program or a movie. beyond confident. Just the concept was strong enough for us to end up before 300 million people on CNN. Now I know I have something more to sell. CR6 is our showcase reality. We are building a digital broadcast network. We already have the biggest broadcast footprint of any entertainment network in the world. We can go into any country in an interactive format. It won't be long before uh, we have real-time video, just like television, except it's interactive. We're giving away CRCAD so that people, it's, it's like giving away cameras and saying, send us your tapes. And we'll get a, a whole industry using this technology and using the, the, the trademark clickable reality, because that's what they are, they're clickable realities for people to explore. The same way I grew up with Sesame Street, they'll grow up with all sorts of interactive programming. Children will expect to be able to control 
and will learn to control instead of me and, and the rest of my generation where we, we learn to sit and watch the TV and do nothing.